My name is Michal Arkema, and I'm from the Netherlands. What's up, Michal? What is your business? I teach people how to code, so I run a online coding academy. Like to code software? Exactly. In 30 seconds, pitch me your offer. So I will teach you how to code using a special virtually unknown psychological proven technique that will help you code faster and better than any other developer that's currently in the same position as you are. Got it. And so I'm assuming that these are brand new coders. They don't know how to code. That is your audience, correct? Exactly. Yes, I target beginner programmers. So am I more worried about a special technique on how to code or am I more worried about making money as a coder, quitting my job? Providing for my family, maybe building something of my own. What am I worried about? Doing the customer research, people like to build software. It's not necessarily only about making money. They like to create applications. And the struggles that they're having is that they don't understand how to get their ideas and put it into code. Any technique that I'm teaching you will help you achieve that. Backup. The person that you're helping is someone who wants to build their own software? Also, that is what software developers do. No, there, there's no also this, that. Like, look, every offer answers three questions. Who do you help? What problem mm -hmm. do you help them solve? And how do you help them solve it? I need to know who you help. Okay, so I help beginner web developers. So people that have developed websites. And what problem do you help them solve? The problem that I help them solve is them not knowing how to write the code here comes the question why are they writing code they are writing code because they have a lot of creativity and they like to contribute to the future and to the technology that they are building oh that's such an inspiring story <laughs> but that doesn't tell me jack shit. you would describe their personality and, and all this i want to know why they're coding do they work for somebody are they starting their own coding business do they have an agency or are they dreaming of like, hey, I want to make money coding apps for other people. I want to quit my job. My, my, my boss sucks. My wife is up my ass about quitting my job because my boss calls at 7 o'clock at night and she just made pot roast. And when she made pot roast, she wants everybody to sit down and enjoy her pot roast because it was her grandma's recipe that she gave her. And her grandma's dead and she cries every night about her grandma because her grandma and her grew up uh, when she was young and had a, an amazing relationship. And because of that, this pot roast is so freaking important to her. But every time you sit down and have the pot roast, your boss calls and tells you so you got to do something and distracts you from the pot roast. Okay. That's what I'm asking. Why are they coding? And by the way, to give you a hint, it has nothing to do with software. Why are they coding? Because they wanted their dream career as a web developer. So they want to get a job as a web developer. Exactly. Yes. Great. So you're helping people get out of the job they're in and get into a better job that they love, right? Yes. Or are you helping them start their own coding agency? No, that not. I'm just teaching them how to code so they move in towards the right uh, direction. They work at Starbucks and they're sick and tired of making a double mocha latte grande for Joe sh the Ragman every morning. And oh, don't forget my two sugars. And they want to get into a different career where they can be creative and they can build things, right? Exactly. So you are actually selling career development. You could say it in that sense. No, I'm not saying it. That's what it is. You're selling them into finding a better career. It just happens to be coding. Now you say it like that. That's completely true. Well, because I know what the f I'm doing. That's why. Okay. Like, <laughs> that's <laughs> why I'm here. I know. Yeah, no, I know. Okay. But don't argue with me. Okay. Like, like go with it, man. <laughs> so, so listen, how much money are you making doing this? I made like $200 by just teaching people one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, I just wanted some testimonials. So you I made had enough a... to have a nice dinner. Well, essentially. Can we at least agree that what you're doing is not working if you only made $200 in a year? Yes, that was using a different way. So, all right, great. Whatever new way you're doing, how long have you been doing that? Around three months. And in three months, how much have you made? Uh, that, that's zero because that's with the webinar. I made a lot of mistakes with everything. Got it. All right, I'm going to give you a pitch at the end of this that is going to be a lot better for you. But let me ask some questions real quick so I can make sure that's going to be good. So you're not making any money. Life sucks. It's terrible. Nobody wants your offer. I get it. I understand. How much are you talking about how much their boss sucks and how much they're not being fulfilled at their job? Or are you just talking about geeky coding stuff? Honestly, right now, I was just focused on, hey, do you want to learn how to code? I know uh, it's very difficult, et cetera, et cetera. YouTube videos suck. They don't know how to teach. I got this special technique and I'll help you. Riveting stuff. Okay. You have no <laughs> bank statement because you're not making any money. So we're going to, normally I would grab my iPad and I would 
or put it on the screen and I'd point at the screen and I'd scream at you for all the bad decisions you make with your money, but you don't have any money. So we're going to skip that part. Let me ask you, what do you think the biggest problem? See, I should get paid for this. LaCroix, the drink of entrepreneur. Secret advertisement. Yeah, yeah. I'll send him a bill. What is your biggest problem that you think is the problem with growing this business? I think I was dabbling too much around. I really got sucked into the marketing of funnel stuff. So I was like geeking out on it. I was like, oh, this is cool. That's cool. So I started with a normal sales page. Then I saw a oh, webinar is the best way. So then I started doing webinars. What makes you think no, webinar is the best way? I, I was reading the books from Russell Brunson. He said to start off with your business, just try with a course, try a webinar. And I was like, okay. Well. You don't even know what your offer is yet. You have no clarity on your offer and you're worried about a webinar. You don't even know who you sell to, what you sell, how to articulate it. And you're worried about doing a webinar. Yeah. How smart do you think that is? Not that smart. See, this is the problem with this guru <laughs> stuff, right? And you guys, you guys read the Russell book. You read my books too. Like I got my books, right? You, you read my books. I and have then you're yours. Like, oh my God, this is amazing. I'm just going to go do all this advanced stuff before I even know what I'm selling. It's terrible. Dude, it is the modern day digital equivalent to the 22 year old girl who's still living at home with mom, sucking off of her saying, I'm going to start a clothing line and I'm going to be an actress and I'm going to be a singer and I'm going to be a dancer because I saw Kim Kardashian do it. Ha. Uh -huh. Okay, that is the equivalent. You got to figure out, man, what you're going to sell before you start worrying about all this other stuff. Let's figure that out right now. So you are teaching people to quit the job they're in that they don't like and get another job. But in order to get that job, they need a skill and you're going to teach them that skill. And then you're going to teach them how to land that job. Correct. Actually, now you say that my original plan was not helping them land a job, but I did help people. I have my own uh, special framework, how to actually pass the interview. So now you say that I could help them with that as well. Right, yo, maybe you think that would be a good idea, huh? I think maybe you think that would help them get to the goal that they're paying you for. In, yeah. In, in, yeah. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Maybe we should do that. <laughs> so let me ask you this. What is your why? Why are you doing this? Like, what's the reason? I started coding on my own and when I was 14 years old, I had no resource whatsoever. I had to figure everything out by myself. And that's how I discovered my own way of actually learning it. And now in 2023, I'm 21 years old right now. The average failure rate of people who want to want to code is like 82%. Most people will not make it. And they watch tons of videos on YouTube. There are many content creators with millions of subscribers, but they just don't know how to teach. They're technical and they think that with technical language, techno babbling, beginners will understand what they're talking about. Yeah, but you're techno babbling. I know. <laughs> <laughs> right now? Yes. But when I teach you how to coach, that's not the case. <laughs> okay. All right. We just do it sometimes. Let's narrow down the offer even more. What you're saying is you teach people how to get out of a job they hate into a job that's fulfilling that they'll love, a creative job where they can build things. But in order to do so, you need to learn this skill. This skill is normally hard to learn and you have a way to learn it a lot faster and a lot easier. That is essentially what we're doing here, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's sounding a little bit better. Does that sound a little bit better to you? I like how that sounds, yeah. So let's take a look at your website. From a design perspective, it's pretty good. This Thank is actually you. real. I love the type typography. I love the line spacing. Thank God for line spacing. Uh, did, did you build this? <laughs> did you design this? Uh, yes, I do everything myself. I write a copy. Dude, I like this. And I would hire you to friggin' design a funnel for me. I like this. This is clean. It's clear. I appreciate it. I don't get shiny object syndrome and go create a funnel design offer. All right. Focus. I already did that. So. <laughs> oh my God. Smack me in the face hard and call me Susie and spit in my mouth. Why? Focus. I know. If you were to click on the blue button down below the video, you would go to my webinar registration page. All right. Nobody cares who you are. Nobody that cares what the founder of start with the problem. Hey, are you someone who hates your job, who wants to be in an exciting, amazing career full of creativity, fulfillment, a career where you can build things? Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is coding. My name is Smith 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 from smithsmithsmith.com. And let me ask you a question. How would you like to learn a skill that would allow you to get into an amazing job that pays more, that allows you to be creative? But what's the problem? You don't know how to code. Well, what if I told you there was a very specific way, a very specific method of learning? Even if you know nothing, even if you think you're a dummy, you can do this. You can learn to code super fast and you can get your dream job. Something like that. That sounds very great. I like that pitch. That would work very well. Okay. Don't just be a coder. Be a confident coder. All right. What is this about? What? Why did we say this? Okay. So first of all is the identity shift that they will be having. 
Bro, you're a coder. You sit in your house all day. You're the ultimate introvert. Why do you need confidence? <laughs> You don't need confidence. You sit behind a bunch of numbers. I mean, you need confidence to ask for the job and all that, but like, it just doesn't seem like the headline, you know? What I meant with it was confidence at writing code, that you feel confident at actually writing the codes because many people just don't. But you're saying, don't just be a coder, be a confident coder. So what you're really saying is, hey, are you already a coder, but you're not confident? Watch my sales video. You're going after people who don't know how to code at all and want a better job. And in order to get that job, they need to learn how to code, correct? Yes. So then this is incongruent. If you were going after existing coders who lack confidence and somehow that was causing them issues, then this would be great. Yeah, that was my original plan. People that already have tried coding but are struggling. Okay, so who do you want to serve? After what we just talked about, the best thing to do is serving people that want to become a developer and want to switch their career. It's not the best thing, it's one thing, okay? You can absolutely go after coders who are struggling to get work. You can do, totally do that. But I'm asking you, put it this way. Don't just be a coder. Be, I mean, I don't, <laughs> okay. This is a little bit better. Uh, how to become a professional software developer so you won't have to copy and paste code from the internet ever again. So this right here is do people actually try to code jobs for people by copy and pasting code? A lot of people learn that way and they just copy existing code that other people wrote, put it uh -huh. in whatever they're creating, and then they have no clue how it works. I don't know this to be true, but I'm going to guess. Any coder that copy and paste codes from the internet probably owns their own business and gets clients. I highly doubt somebody would be hired, maybe I'm wrong, hired at a company to code. And in reality, they don't know how to code. They're just copying, pasting code from the internet. Do you think that's correct or not correct? Uh, not really. We, I've been in a lot of internships. We write the code ourselves. Yeah, sometimes we look at examples from the internet if we don't truly know, but most of the times we do write it ourselves. Okay, so what you're saying is this person right here owns a, a coding uh, software agency and takes clients. They don't work for somebody. No, no, no. These are just people that want to become a software developer. Dude, and but hold on. Th this whole thing's a mess because you're saying don't just be a coder, which means you're already a coder, right? So they don't want to be a software coder. They're just a crappy one. And you're trying to make them a not crappy one. So how do you articulate that? You say, well, how to become a professional software developer so you won't have to copy and paste code from the internet ever again. So there's two types of an audience here. There's people who work for companies as a software developer, and there's people who don't work for companies as a software developer. So those people likely get clients and do it as freelance, correct? Yes. The freelance wannabe coder versus the actual I work for a company coder, which one of those is more likely to copy and paste code from the internet? <laughs> That's a very difficult question, actually. It's not a difficult question. What person that gets a job at a company doesn't know how to code? It's all these jagoffs that learn something on GitHub and then go, oh, I'm going to charge money to do this for somebody. That's who it is, which means from, based on this headline, your audience is freelance coders who suck at what they do, and you're going to get them better so they can get more clients and be confident in, in, in what they do. That's what this page is telling me. Does that make sense? Yes. Make a decision. Who do you want to help? So far, we have normal people who want to quit their job. We have people who work for companies, and we have people who own freelance coding. Those are the three audiences we've talked about. Which one are you going to help? I want to help the people who want to land a job, want to switch the career. Okay, great. So this whole thing is trash. It, got, it has to go. Yes. Because it has nothing to do with what we're talking about here. All right. Ready to leave your boring job for an exciting and creative career? Become a coder, right? Like we could flavor that up, but essentially become a thing. Become a coder. Learn to code and land an amazing job as a software developer in just X days. How quickly can you make this happen for them? 90 days, six months, what? It would more be close to four to six months because it's not something that you can just dive in for a few days and you'll be able to create everything you want. How to learn to code and land a job as a professional software developer within 120 days, even if you've never written a single line of code. That's a great headline. Yeah, that okay. makes it's a clear headline. A great headline will be after you ran traffic to this and you split tested five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen different versions of that headline. And then you have a great headline. But this is a clear headline. Do you get what I'm saying? Yes, yes, yes. I completely understand what you're talking about. Awesome. This is all good. I mean, I'm not gonna read through all this because it's based on the headline, it's it's all trash now. All right, what do we got here? Attention, all beginner web and full stack developers. If you're a beginner, you probably don't, don't know what full stack means, do you? Now with the audience targeting, then not. No, probably not. Okay. 
Are you sick and tired of staring at your code editor not knowing to write? They don't have a code editor, or if they do, they barely know how to use it. Top expert web developers reveal three secrets to mastering JavaScript. <laughs> nerdy, 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 nerdy. All right, let's look at your Instagram. I don't really okay. do Instagram. I'm doing it all on Facebook. Yeah, this looks riveting. Yeah. Amazing. I'm so enthralled by your dog and your trip to Mexico here. You staring confidently into the abyss with your dog. Oh, your dog in a Christmas hat. Uh, oh, your dog laying down. Yeah, this is this will all bring you clients <laughs> for your software. Yeah, I was Absolutely. not using Instagram at all. I was only for using Facebook. All right. Well, it says when a software, you got an advertisement. The number one reason why 99% of software companies fail is not because their idea sucks, because they know have no clue about how to market and sell it. Great, a completely different <laughs> offer. You got anything else? Oh, look, a smoothie, a smooth. I, I got, couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't go my whole day without seeing Mikkel's smoothies that he got with his girlfriend. I, I, my day is complete now. It's absolutely complete. Thank God for that. What's your Facebook? This is what I'm actually doing every day. Mikkel, our, our kid in the, sorry, I butchered it. Coach, software developer, join free group. Okay. JavaScript mastery group. <laughs> Let's specifically <laughs> start a group on JavaScript. That's what yeah, we need to do. Yeah, that's what I was targeting. Oh, and it's groups slash JavaScript mastery group. Because if I type that into the web browser, that's going to go somewhere. Brilliant. <laughs> brilliant. And if you're a freaking developer on top of it, brilliant, brilliant stuff. Competent Coders Academy. Yeah. All right. This is, this is, yeah. I would switch it to what is something uh, about landing a job as a web developer you currently find confusing. Oh, look, mm. some some rocks and some mountains. Okay, let me read this. Let, let's see if today, as I was scrolling through my pictures album, I came across a very old picture I took in 2014. And on this picture, we are standing on a mountain. I wouldn't have known that. But not just a mountain, a huge volcano in, South Fran in southern France. And we managed to climb it ourselves along with other visitors. Pretty cool, huh? But what I can remember to this day was a sense of achievement I had once reached the top because it was the first time I had done something like this, but it felt great and I'd love to do it again. The moral of the story is that you should strive for constant achievements every day. It doesn't matter whether they're big or small. It can be from fixing a broken water pipe to getting your first job. Hopefully this makes sense. Great. And that's how I felt when I landed my first job as a web developer. It was like climbing a mountain. But when I got to the top, it changed my life forever. And I am now in a career where every day I build amazing things that help people and I get paid a lot for it. And I would love for you to be able to stand at the top of that mountain too. I didn't have someone to guide me. I had to climb up the treacherous rocks myself. But today I've decided I'm gonna help you climb the mountain. And that's why I have started Confident coders academy i want to help you i want to guide you up the mountain to the top step by step holding your hand allowing you to easily reach the top without falling on the jagged rocks because you don't know where they are and i do i take you to the top of that mountain i show you how to code i get you your first job as an entry entry web developer get you paid more than you've ever been paid allow you to be more fulfilled than you've ever been and work your way up into this amazing world of software development click here to check out confident coders academy damn <laughs> so you had the beginning of something really good and then you just shit on it and didn't do anything <laughs> do you do any facebook ads yes actually i do send me a link i can't wait to see this how well is this ad doing this ad so i've been running a few ads was do is the best one running let me get you the statistics here what's your it, cost per lead currently the cost per result per landing page was 36 cents no no so cost less than per a euro. lead brother cost per lead how many people registered for your webinar none they did click but they for, through the landing page they didn't sign up how much did you spend i do 20 bucks per ad so i'm told i've been spending 60 bucks in total per day uh five that's five bucks per day you spent $60. I ran a few more ads to test which one got the most clicks and this one performed the best. Bro, it, it didn't perform best or not best. You spent $60. That's not enough to know if anything performed at all. It's just not enough. Like you just wasted 60 bucks. Here's how you know if a Facebook ad is working. Take the price of your offer, which is in your case, $297. Multiply that by three. Now you have $900. You run $900 to a campaign and see if you get a sale. If you can't do that, then you shouldn't be running Facebook ads and you need to focus on organic marketing because you're too broke to run ads and you're just wasting your money. Do you get me? 
I get you completely. Okay, so forget Facebook ads. You don't have enough money to even begin to understand if it's working for you or not. It just is what okay. it is. I'm not trying to like insult you or tell you you suck. I'm just saying like you're wasting your money. You don't have enough budget to figure it out because Facebook ads is all you put up a bunch of ads and you figure out what ones work. And you do more of that and less of the ones that don't work. If you don't have enough of a budget to, to do the figuring out part, you're just wasting your money. Do you get what I'm saying? Completely understand. Got it. I mean, okay. I'm not taking it as any like a tech or something. Yeah, let me just read it anyway. Have you always dreamed of becoming a pro web full stack developer? So right off the bat, nobody knows what that means. Have you always dreamed of becoming a coder? Have you always dreamed of becoming a highly paid software developer? Have you always dreamed of getting paid to create software? Speak in like dummy, 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 dummy down, dummy down, like, like a second grader. If so, then this is the most important post you'll ever read. Did you know that a staggering 82% of... <laughs> We start with the stat. Uh, did you know that a staggering 82% of beginner web developers never reach their dream career? Okay, Th you're already, you basically just said, this is a bad idea. Don't click on my stuff. That's right, 82 out of, and then you reinforce it. Sounds crazy, doesn't it? You reinforce it again. <laughs> but don't worry, you're not the problem here. They haven't even tried it yet, so they don't know what you're talking about. The real issue lies with the content creators, courses, and boot camp. What does that have to do with learning, with like, becoming a software developer. I don't get it, right? Even, and even traditional schools out there. Okay, unless they're already going to school for coding, th th you're just not talking to your audience yet. They throw around technical jargon and, compl and complex definitions like confetti at a parade. Again, not even remotely incongruent with your audience. Leaving beginners like you scratching your head. Now again, this, what you're going after here is people who are already pursuing this. In that case, the copy's okay, right? For what you're talking about, Hey, you're trying to become a coder and you're struggling. This is decent copy. Okay. But 60 bucks is not enough. And then you go here, top three web expert developer, real three mastering developer. So again, on the ad, you're basically saying, Hey, you're trying to learn how to become a web developer. And it sucks because most people don't actually finish. Right. That's what you're saying. Right. Yes. But then you go to a webinar all about JavaScript. What if they're not coding in JavaScript? Uh, that has to do with, uh, that's why I said at the top web developer because that has all of everything to do with JavaScript. But now you bring it like that. Do you have any experience in coding? Yes, JavaScript yeah. is just one teeny tiny microscopic piece of the pie. You still gotta learn, like they probably have to learn basic HTML and CSS. They have to learn probably some PHP. They gotta learn MySQL to talk to the database. They're probably gonna need to learn Bootstrap, jQuery. Like, why would you just say JavaScript? Why wouldn't you say something more like top expert web developer reveals three secrets to mastering coding fast so that you can finally land a job as a highly paid software developer, not so you can finally create your dream, dream projects. Instead of software developer, what about web developer? That's fine, but what I'm saying is, if you want people to pay you, they have to get a return. And some dude with Cheeto stains on his shirt, who's just trying to tinker around with some little app he wants to build for no reason at all, that's who this is speaking to. But if it's somebody who wants to get a job and if they get a job, they get paid more and which makes it make sense to pay you because if they pay you and you fix their problem, their income increases, makes a lot more sense. So what this should read, this part right here, so you can, instead of finally create your dream projects, is so you can finally land a highly paid job as a web developer or highly paid web development gigs. I like the way that sounds, Dan. Well, it, it all can sound different. You just got to figure out who am I trying to sell to? What is their actual yeah. goal? What is their actual problems? And then how can I speak in their language? You're talking to like three different people and it's just like all, it's a mess. That's why it's not working, brother. You're not talking to people in words that resonate with them. You get me? Yeah, I yeah, I mean, I just just though I was struggling with figuring out who I should serve. Well, you got to figure that out first before you start that's... making webinars and funnels because that's just a waste of time. You can't make a webinar and a funnel. You can't make ads. You can't make any sort of advertising if you don't know who you serve and what problem. You can't just throw stuff up and be like, oh, maybe it'll work. Here would be my pitch, right? You hate your job, hate your boss because it's incredibly boring, incredibly unfulfilling. Do you wish that you could not only get paid more, but you could get paid to create amazing things, tools that people use, tools that change their life? Well, that, my friend, is the exciting world of web development, creating apps that make people's life 
better. Now, right now, you may not know how to code, or maybe you've dabbled in learning. But you know that if you were to develop this highly specialized skill, a whole new world of opportunity would open up to you. You'd be able to land jobs at companies that will pay you way more than you're getting paid now to do really cool things. Or maybe you'd be a freelancer and you would learn how to land gig after gig after gig, helping people build cool things. And you could even work for yourself. But at the end of the day, there's one thing standing in between where you are now and where you want to be. And that is learning how to code. Now, don't get me wrong. It is very difficult. And that's why I, Mikkel, or get me, I don't know how to say your last name. I'm sorry. have developed a system to learning coding fast. I've helped people learn how to code and land a job as a coder in as little as 120 days. And if you would like a sneak peek at exactly how we do this, the model, the little trick that no one else has told you to learn this fast, I'd like you to click on the link below and watch the training. And by the way, why does it take so long to learn coding? Do you think it's hard to learn coding? Do you think it takes forever to learn coding? Well, you probably think that now. And why? There are schools out there that profit greatly from stringing out your education for as long as possible. The longer you are with them to learn coding, the more money they make. The truth is you can learn coding fast, but that wouldn't be good for the technical schools because they wouldn't make as much money. However, I've discovered a way to learn it super, super fast. And I would like to show you that way so that you can land your dream job, so that you can build amazing things that make you proud, things that people use, things that make their life better, things that were made by you. That is an exciting career. That is a new life. And the first step is understanding the fastest way to learn coding. And you can do that by clicking the link below and watching my training. I'll see you there. <laughs> That's the best thing I've ever heard. I'm going to copy your transcript. Take it, my friend. You can take it word for word. It is my gift to you. You have it, sir. Oh, you do it. And then you email me back in 30 days and you let me know. And speaking of 30 days, here's what I want you to do over the next 30 days. I want you to take on a piece of paper and write down who you help, the exact problem you help them solve. And I want you to write down how you help them solve it. And then I want you to think about all the things they think about when they're laying awake in bed at night and they can't sleep and they just don't know what they want to do with their lives. I want you to think about what they think about their boss, what they think about their career, the things, the conversations they might have with their boyfriend or girlfriend, husband or wife, the people they confide in the most about why life didn't turn out the way they wanted it. I want you to write all that down. And then I want you to redo your training. I want you to create a VSL for this training. You can copy and paste exactly what I just said. And then I want you to do this for the, every day for the next 30 days. I want you to go join a bunch of groups, both for coders and both for aspiring coders. And anywhere, any group or any community where people are learning how to, like begin, beginning groups, right? Like you might get people who haven't thought about it, but your market is probably what will be beginning coders. Beginning meaning they want to learn to code, they don't know how to code yet, and they're dabbling or they're looking into it. That's probably going to be the best explanation for your market. So then you go in and here's the best part. This is easy for you. All you're going to do is you're going to look for people who have questions and you're going to answer those questions. You're not going to pitch. You're just going to answer the question to the best of your ability. And what's going to happen is people are going to see your answers and they're going to go, wow, this guy's smart. This guy's awesome. He's very helpful. They're going to start recommending you and asking people to tag you when they have questions because they're going to see your authority built up over time. And then people are going to be curious about you because you're giving away such great information. So what they're going to do is they're going to click on your profile. They're going to go to your profile. They're going to check you out. And in the pin post, you're going to say, have you ever dreamed of becoming a highly paid software developer or web developer, but you're being held back because you don't yet know how to code. I want to show you this training where you can learn how to code and land your first highly paid job in just 120 days. Then you say, if you would like the training, comment me. When they click me or when they comment me, you're going to message them on Facebook and you're going to say, hey, it's Mikkel. Thanks for commenting on my post. I'm going to send you the training in a second. Can I just ask you a few questions about where you are with your coding? You're going to ask them, what's the biggest problem you have learning coding? They're going to tell you. You're going to say, how much is that affecting you? How likely, if you don't solve this problem, how likely are you to become a coder and land that job? And they're going to say, not likely at all. And then you're going to say, if I could completely solve that problem, would it be worth an hour of your time? And they're going to say yes. And they're going to say, great. 
Here's a link to that training. It's an hour. I'd like you to watch it. And then I'd like you to message me back with any questions. They're going to go watch it. They're either going to buy or they're going to message you back with some objections or questions. And then you are going to handle those objections and you are going to close them. And that's how you're going to make money doing this thing. That is so good. Go do it. Email me back in 30 days. And I promise you will be in a much better position than you are right now. Thank you so much, Dan. Absolutely, man. I love this.